Hi everyone, and welcome to part 23 of The Sims 2 Pleasant Family. I'm Wesha. This is such an exciting part because the twins are finally off on their own at college and while they knew the other was going to be going to Sim State University, they were hoping that they were going to at least be put in different dorms, but unfortunately for the two of them, they're going to have to learn to live together once again. And I would love for the two of them to become friends and be close by the end of this, but as you can see, we've got a lot of work to do before we can get to that point. I did place them in the Sim State dormitory, which is the largest of the dorms here at Sim State University. And I stuck Dustin and Dirk in one of the other dorms, and then in another one, I just stuck a whole bunch of random teens from Pleasant View. I did notice that after they aged up, their romantic relationships with their boyfriends went away, so they're not technically in relationships with either of them. So I think we're going to have to see whether or not we can rekindle that, which, I mean, I think we should easily be able to because the chemistry is still there. So we'll have to see if we can do that, or if maybe... These are high school relationships that the two of them should move on to and she is a little hungry so we're gonna need to have her go down here and grab some food. And the nice thing about dorms in this game is that you have a chef that'll just make food for you, which is fantastic. I mean, I wish I had that. Like, I wish I lived somewhere where food would just magically appear every time I'm hungry, but unfortunately... That is not the world that I live in. But the two of them are going off to class, so they will be back in, I think, two or... Okay, yeah, they'll be back in a couple of hours at 5 p.m. I'm surprised they're going off to class again because I did have them go out to get new clothes because after what they aged up in, they definitely needed some new outfits because the look the game aged them up with was just an absolute mess, so we had to fix that. But while they're off on that community lot, the game sent them to class, so technically this is their second time going to class today, but it does mean more of a grade boost, so that's not such a bad thing. So while they're off, on cl off at class, I'll just show you where I put their dorms at. So this is Angela's dorm. Everything's very bare right now. They're just moving in. But over time, I'll personalize things a little bit more. I'll probably add some stuff before the next part. And as we saw, Lilith's room is upstairs. So even though they're in the same dorm, they wanted to be as far apart from each other as they possibly could. So at least they've got a floor between their rooms. They're not right next to each other. But I did add in some default skin and default eyes to this game just to freshen things up a little bit because I have a meaning to... Why is the sim invisible? What's going on here? Is this sim a ghost or something like that? Okay then. I don't know if she's technically supposed to be off at class and this is a glitch. But anyway, we've got default eyes and default skin in now. So it's just something to subtly make this game feel a little bit fresher. And the nice thing is that since they are defaults, it replaces it for everyone. Hey, I was just looking through my phone book and thought I should get in touch with Lilith. It's been a while, so I just wanted to check in. Oh, that's really nice. Like Daniel wants to talk to her. She actually has a one to call Daniel to chat. So I think when she's back from class, we'll have to have her do that. But while I added in those defaults, I didn't add any other custom content. I did look for some hair for Angela and Lilith, but I didn't find anything that I really liked. I just need to devote a little bit more time to finding stuff that I like because a lot of what I was finding was those hairs that are really shiny and I personally don't like those. So I gave Angela the same hair that she had before. I was looking at some other hairs that came with the game and I just, like none of them looked as good on her so I figured why fix what isn't broken? So I just gave her the same one back. And as I discussed last time, I gave Angela black hair, or Lilith black hair, which I think really suits her. And I actually like that her eyebrows stay orange, so it shows that this isn't her natural hair color. And I just really like the whole look that she has. 
So I bought this outfit. I also bought that other one that I was saying that I liked when we saw that random sim at the gym. I also got a couple of outfits for Angela as well, so we have some choices for the two of them. But while I'm letting them get their mood up a little bit after class, I'll just take a peek around the dorm. So we've got a little, I guess this is supposed to be like a reception area, although it's just more of a desk. And then we've got a really ratty looking couch here. This couch, I'm sure has seen many things. This couch probably has a lot of secrets that I could tell. Oh, that's the, was this, I think this is kind of like, yeah, this is like the outfit that I bought for Lilith. Uh, what is Angela up to? Okay, so she's just playing games. I think her mood's pretty good otherwise, so we're gonna actually come over here and try to socialize a little bit and get to know some of their roommates, because this is the largest dorm. It's got 14 rooms, so other than the two of them, there are 12 sims living here. So I think that'll be really interesting. She just, oh yeah, she's thinking about how repulsed she is by this guy. And then we've got a little computer lab area in here. We've got some easels and a chess table. That's really nice. we got a bathroom, kind of a gross communal bathroom. We've got another seating area up here with a microwave and a mini fridge. This is kind of cool. I like these lounge areas. And then we just have a whole bunch of dorm rooms. And then up here, we've just got this random fireplace and chess table. So that's kind of cool. Oh, we've also got a telescope. That's neat. Yeah, so there's not really a ton to this dorm, but I think it is still pretty nice. I think she's talking about the environment, and he just, I guess, just doesn't really care about the environment at all, so he's getting so annoyed with her talking to him about that. Uh, Lil is currently taking a shower. I wanted to have her talk to that one punk girl that I saw, because I feel like that's someone that she could become friends with, so she's just in here reading the newspaper on the toilet. Uh, so we'll just have her do that. We'll have her... Oh, I think... She, yeah, Angela was on chatting with... Or no... Oh, she's going to the... Yeah, I think she needs to go to the bathroom. Anyway, we're just gonna have her come out here and chat with her. So I think what we're gonna do for this evening is just have the two of them hang out here at the dorm and get to know some of their roommates. I also wanted to have them register for their majors because I've been thinking about it and I have an idea of what I want to have the two of them do. So they're talking about ghosts right now. It looks like she's into it. So I think that she is someone that Lilith could become friends with. So I think her lifetime want was to, yeah, to have 20 simultaneous best friends. So we can certainly work towards that here in college. Like this is going to be such a great opportunity for her to accomplish that. So let's tell a joke. See if we can make Jill here laugh. Uh, we can also... Okay, nope, never mind. Seems like she is not into whatever it is that she's talking to her about. We can talk about Major, although she is undecided, which isn't very interesting. Uh, we could also have her flirt. I don't know why, but I kind of like the idea of her just checking this sim out. And while she's doing that, I'm gonna have Lilith, or actually, I'm gonna have, same thing, send the names up. I'm gonna have Angela get over here and try to declare Major. Okay, so there you go, you do that. And right now I think she's talking about her major, so Jill here is undecided as well. So I think this is kind of like the freshman dorm, you know, everyone here is Still trying to figure out what it is that they want to do. Okay, so she is checking around now. Yeah, that's just kind of a her, she looks at her thing. I don't know if she really registers that, but you know, she's just kind of checking things out, seeing if she likes what she sees there. Looks like, okay, here we go. So as far as Angela's major, I was thinking that it might be neat to have her try to get a career in oceanography because she did have, like her bio said that she wants to become a steamboat captain. So I feel like that's the job that's closest to that. She also loves nature, nature, so I want to find the major that is closest to that. You know, the major that will be ideal for that. Um, so I think that's going to be biology. Yeah, oceanography is right there. So we're going to have her be a biology major. And as for Lilith, I want to have her pick whatever major it is that's geared more towards the dancer career. I don't know if that's gonna have, what I'm going to have her go into, but I think the major for that is the drama major. And whether or not she goes into the dancer career, I just feel like the drama major could be a good choice for her. So yeah, she's just realizing like who she is and isn't attracted to in the storm. Like I think she's thinking about this guy, that she's not attracted to him. Yeah, she is not into this guy at all. Oh, she's attracted to this guy. So we'll chat with him. Ooh, okay, we could get a little dorm room ram romance going on here. I, oh, never mind. Maybe they aren't so compatible. It seems like he doesn't want to hear whatever it is that she's talking about. I guess she's talking about transportation, airplanes, so I don't know about that. Let's try chatting again and see if this time it can actually go a bit better. So we're talking about geography, I think is what that is. Okay, looks like he's into that. So maybe all hope isn't lost here getting the two of them to get along. Um, so we, I don't, that, might, that may, might be kind of awkward. 
if she gives this guy she just met a friendly hug. Uh, so we'll hang out with him. Just spend some time and chatting with him. With them being in college, I'm really not sure whether their high school relationships are going to last or not. So that'll be interesting to see. Maybe the next part or even this part. Actually, I think it might be a better thing for next part. I wanted to have the two of them go out with Dustin and Dirk and see what happens with that. You know, see if we can rekindle that and whether we should rekindle that or not. Because, yeah, right now there's no romantic relationship. So we're going to have to rebuild that completely. So things that they've actually got... A clean slate right now. Let's have Lilith call Daniel really quick and after that we can have her declare her major and oh who, who is that? I wonder if that's gonna end up being Daniel that's calling uh, but I also wanted to look here so her class is lab techniques one poking at things with tweezers. Sounds exciting so she needs to learn the logic skill and the mechanical skill because if I remember correctly how this works in this game is that as you earn these skills this goes up so right now, if we continue to go to co continue to go to class, uh, no, sorry, we're about to use the phone. Anyway, if we have them continue to go to class, the max they could get is a C or B, or probably a C, with how it is now. Like it's to the point where they barely pass. But if we have them learn these skills, then that'll raise this up so that they can get a, an A and do really well. So we need to focus on that. But from my, from what I remember, I don't think college in this game is too difficult. Like if you hit the books, it's actually pretty easy to have a good grade. So you just talk to him and then after that, we're just gonna go ahead and queue up to Claire Major. And how are we doing over here? So she is still having a nice chat with, uh, what was his name, Ira? And they're already friends, that's awesome. So we're gonna get out this. And Charm, should we? I don't know, let's do it. She's not technically in a relationship with Dustin, so she can do whatever she wants right now. And it looks like he is charmed by her. Yeah, he's fallen over. So ooh, he has fanned himself. Oh, he's crushing on her. Wow. So she doesn't even have a crush on him. But this guy is all about Angela Pleasant right now. Yeah, drama is the major that helps with the dance career. It also helps with entertainment, as well as athletic, politics, and show business, which I think is perfect because she's also interested in sports. So if we decide to go that route with her career, then will already be ahead of the game. So definitely a drama major for her. So let's see what her class is. So it is the history of ancient drama when every play ended with death. Yep. Oh, she's losing enthusiasm for fitness. So she needs to learn charisma and mechanical. So we'll just have her get on that. Uh, do we have a mirror anywhere else than the bathrooms? Because I don't know if we want to have her hog the mirror bathroom, the bathroom mirrors to try to work on charisma. I guess we might as well just add something to our bedroom here and get a mirror. We don't have a ton of money, but you know, we can do some stuff. So we'll just stick that there. And as I said, I'll work on customizing things a bit more before the next part. So you go over here, practice speech, work on that charisma some, and it is getting pretty late. So I think I'm gonna have to cut to the next day soon. So she is here chatting with Allison. So it is nice to see her meeting new people and making new friends so quickly. Angela just woke up and Lilith is heading off to class. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Angela focus on her schoolwork while Lilith is off at class. And after Lilith gets back, I'm gonna have the two of them go to the campus coffee shop to talk and hopefully work on their relationship, maybe even get this apology finally done. Because so far this part, they've been good. I don't think they fought at all. That's probably because I've been distracting them, but hopefully this is an opportunity to finally improve their relationship. And then when Angela goes off to class in the, class in the evening, I'll have Lilith work on her grade some because we only have less than two days. I, yeah, we only have 40 hours until the final exam, which is not a whole lot of time. I forgot how quickly these things move and okay, we've got someone delivering something. I don't think we get bills here, right? I would think not. I would think you wouldn't have to pay bills for your dorm, but we should probably check that just in case it's something that we need to worry about. I also got the two of them to build a skill point so that open this up a little bit more so they can get better grades. Never mind what I said before. Apparently we do have bills in college, so she has to pay 348 simoleons, which I really don't think should be happening, but it looks like that's something that we have to deal with. I'm gonna actually have them head out somewhere together after Angela gets back from class, because I realized that at this point, She's gonna be heading off for her class in less than two hours, so we're gonna be able to do hardly anything if I have them go out now. So I might as well let her finish her term paper. She is getting through it pretty quickly. And we'll have Lil do the same. So she is currently just dancing to music. 
So we can stop her from doing that. Have her come over here and write her, ter her term paper. And I'm thinking that instead of going to the coffee shop, we could have them go to, I think it was called the University Lounge. I forget what exactly it was called, but it's this lot that has this whole band set up. It's just this really neat lot. So I think that would be a cool place for the two of them to go to. And I did also go through the community lots in this world or this neighborhood and add a few things to some of them. So I did add that soccer goal to the park. I think I added a, yeah, I added a ballet bar to the university lounge or whatever that building was called, the one that I want to have them go to a little bit. And I think there's a few things I stuck in some of the other lots, but there are some really neat lots in this neighborhood that I never paid attention to before. Like they're the university tower buildings and one of them looks, oh, she finished it, sweet. Yeah, but one of them is this really cool date spot. And I never went to that lot in the past. I did not know it even existed. So I think that'd be great to have them go to on dates with their past boyfriends. I guess kind of still boyfriends in the next part just to see where things are at. So let's see what her grades are looking like now. Sweet. So that's about as far as she can get. So we're going to need to have her work on some skills before she can build that up even any further. We'll ever go up here and study mechanical. And how is she doing? Oh yeah, she's actually almost at that point too. So maybe instead of finishing that right now, we should have her learn the mechanical skill too, just cause I'm not sure. Like I'm kind of worried that if she were to finish her term paper now, and then we got the skill built later that she would lose the, you know, like she wouldn't get as much of a boost from finishing her term paper as, they sh as she should. So I just want to make sure that she can get the most out of that that she can. Angela and Lilith are here at the University Lounge, so we're just going to have the two of them talk to each other right off the bat. Hopefully they can have a nice civil conversation and not start poking each other. But I didn't quite get her that mechanical skills having her work on. It's really close, so we just have to have her do it a little bit more to get that. I was able to get Lilith that additional skill point, so she's got all the skill points that she needs to have for this semester. So I think it'll be really easy to get her to have an A, and it seems like things are going pretty well with this conversation. We're going to have to keep a close eye on it though, because as soon as you leave these two alone, they're going to just start bickering. After we've gotten their relationship up a bit, I'm going to have them try to apologize to each other and see if we can finally make that happen. But this place here, I'm just going to zoom out so I can see them. This place here is really cool. I just love the kind of psychedelic groovy vibe that you have in this area. We've got this, uh, oh, it looks like she's attracted to someone. Yeah, I think it's this guy here, but we've got this whole band set up here. We've got kind of a coffee area over here. We've got a lounge in the back here. And then upstairs, we just got some kind of musical area, sort of like we had on that one lot that's unlocked for music and dance. So it's kind of a cool place. I really like this lot. But we're going to go for it and have her, oh no, she's bored of her talking about birds, but we're going to have her apologize and see if Lilith accepts it. She's not furious with her, but Lilith is still furious with Angela, so I don't know how receptive she's going to be. Is it going to work? Yay, she accepted it! Oh, I'm so glad we finally did that. So I want to see if we can have her apologize and get Lilith to accept that as well. It looks like that improved their relationship a lot. So it's barely in the negative now. So it seems like apologizing really does do a lot for improving their relationships. So I think Angela's telling her that it's fine, that, you know, let's put the past behind us. Let's start off fresh here at college. Maybe you're not so bad. Because I really think that now that they're, you know, out from under their parents' influence, I think, never mind. I spoke too soon. I mean, it's like, it can't be that easy, can it? Nope. <laughs> she did have a want to uh, play the drum, so we're going to just have her get away from her and go over here. And actually, let's have her join. She's going to be horrible at it, but we'll just have her go over here and join to get her away from her. And it did look like, she... <sighs> okay, oh, her mood's pretty bad. So we need to have her go to the bathroom. Yeah, unfortunately, it's it's not that easy to get the two of them off on a really good foot. So we're going to have to continue to work on this to get their relationship to be good. But yeah, now she's furious with her. We just pretty much undid what we did because before she wasn't even mad at her. <laughs> After she does that, I'm going to have her come down here and just practice. I don't think she has that skill built up at all, so she's not really going to be very good with that. I think that uses, yeah, I think that uses create. Yeah, she's still not in the mood. Yeah, her phone's a little low. So what she can do, what can she do to take care of that? She's also really hungry. So I want to see if she can grab something from here. Um, so we'll just order coffee. I don't know if that's really going to be that great for getting her hunger up, but we can try. Oh, she can also, hold on. Actually, I think if she goes to the bar and orders a drink, that's going to be a little bit better for getting that up. 
But I believe her mood's a bit better. So let's have her come over here and try to play some guitar. So just perform some jazz, or actually let's do rock. I feel like she's probably more of a sim who's into rock. Her guitar playing is not that great, but it looks like she's having fun. She definitely looks like someone who could be a rock band. So this might be something cool for her to continue doing, and she is getting some donations, like someone gave her the thumbs up, so... They're being encouraging. I'm not sure if Angela's getting her first drink or if she's getting her second drink, but I'm gonna have to send these two home soon because their moods are going downhill a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here. Oh, I also want to mention that I will try my best to remember to put links to the default skin and eyes that I used. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end things here. So if you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching and bye!